Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I am back with some thrift finds for junk journaling and also a book haul that I'm going to be using some of the items for my junk journals and uh, paper crafting and also adding some of them to my book collection. So first up, you may have seen some of these items on my Instagram feed. So I recently went to this antique shop and they had a bunch of vintage uh, items that they had there. I was particularly looking for old greeting cards, some uh, music sheets and cookbooks. Some were a little bit overpriced and some were 50% off. And this one in particular was in a section that had a sign that said 80% off retirement sale. And I really, this image here pulled me over. There were two bags and there's a little note here that says good for decoupaging and some pages are blank or something like that. But anyway, I will show you what I got here. This was originally priced at $12 and I got it for I think a dollar eighty-five or almost two dollars. So I have that one. So let's have a look and see what this is and I'll show you the other goodies I was able to find from that uh, vintage or antique shop. So let's look and see. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of the, the cards that uh, were in this bag. Let's have a look at the first one. So I'm going to push this to the side. I love the holiday vibes on this beautiful card. Look how precious she looks with her dress and the holly design on it. Love the greens and the reds. The colors are so vibrant. The card though is very thin. You can see how old it is. Look at the wear and tear on this one. So that's the first card that came with it. The next one I thought was really pretty as well with a little yarn binding here. And it's a Mother's Day card. Really pretty and has several layers here. You see some little like cherries there and some scalloped edging here. Look at these wonderful illustrations and images. I just love it. Super cute. Happy Mother's Day. So a little writing. And here's another one. I like this one. This one is a happy birthday card. And it has that V fold that creates that little pop-up. I love interactive cards. If you have been following me here on my channel, you know that the flip books I've made in the past have some kind of interaction on one or two pages. I love it adds more fun to the pages of your card or when you're making a little photo album. So that's another one. Here's a cute one with a radio little uh, image here. And then we have this inside. Super cute. And you can see the wear and tear and the age of the card. This one's a Christmas one. And again, this one has a little bit of the interactive honeycomb look there. Look how cute that is. Super adorable. This is the back. I like this one as well. Characters are so cute. The illustrations are so precious. This is an Easter one. And that's what the back looks like. Here's one uh, from that for Valentine's. I love that. It's so vintage. Valentine. And it rhymes, be mine. Super cute. And here's the next one. I love this kitty cat. Oh, the illustration again with the knitting uh, ball here and the sticks. So pretty. And then here's what the inside looks like. How cute and precious are these little kittens. And here's one. Looks like a birthday card. So we have the birthday card, happy birthday sister. She looks like a Bo Peep character. Really cute. I love this one. Has some texture on it. I love the ribbon binding. It's an anniversary card. And that's what it looks like inside. Now here's another one that I really like. It has an interactive card again with a little pop-up of this little cute little pup. You'll see it here on the side standing up. Really cute. 
so many cards. I think there is over, I think, 60 cards in here. Over 50 at least. Yeah, so here's one some with gold foil. You can see the layering there. And this is a Mother's Day for Grandmother. Just to show you, that's where the gold detail came from. They have a wedding anniversary. This one has some glitter texture on it. And this one is, they, they did a lot of these folds where it's blank here, but the actual writing in the card is in here. So really nice. I could potentially cut this out and use this part as a flip. Here's another one. I love it. It's textured and it says volumes of good wishes. Really nice. Next card, another anniversary card. Textured here like it's embossed, so I like that. This one my daughter Emmy saw and got. She said, creepy looking clown. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of clowns myself, but yeah. So here's a ballerina, and it's a birthday card for nine years old. I like this image in the back, actually, of the ballerina. Really pretty. And look at this cute pair, mother and dad, and then the words are embossed, and it's an Easter card. How cute is that? And this one's for grandmother, birthday greetings. Here's one, I like this, you see the cut there. And then here's that fold, I was telling you again, so they have that fold here, and the writing of the card in there and I think this is yeah this one's a four yeah four fold like that this one's single here's one with a cute little window it's a missing you card how cute is that and they have that there again these are great for junk journals recently saw um, really adorable junk journal card from a lady on Instagram I think her Address is at Paper Tabby, so if you want to look it up. I feel I was feeling inspired, so I, that's why I wanted to look for some of these vintage cards to try and make a little junk journal card. Little little uh, junk journal using your little uh, greeting cards. And here's a cute one with a little window there. Textured, really nice. Here's another one with a cut out in the middle and then here it is they have their single fold here more Easter another Easter card here with the window so I can definitely cut this apart and create another image behind it we have one for glitter texture I think this is a bird thing here's that fold again a lot of Mother's Day cards it looks like in this stash but super cute images, perfect for maybe a spring journal. I love this one with the bird looking out. Here's one with some books. I like that. I like this one, super adorable with this cute giraffe. The cut top. This one's a birthday greeting. And there we have a little pop-up again. I like that V-fold. Very simple to make. I'll show you how to make that sometime with some of your cards. Uh, this is pretty clean and look how adorable that elephant is. And I like what it says, I'll never forget your birthday. Yeah, elephants have a, or elephants have a great memory. They're known for that. And here's a cute one as well with the puppy, some scallop edge here, the trim, and look how cute. So as you can see, that's not even all of it. We have more. So a lot of cards. Stay with me. Here's a cheery note. It says, and there's a window. And we have another. This was a common V fold, again, for a little pop-up action on the card. And a lot of ribbon binding. Here's an Easter one. Mother's Day note. I like this one. It has, it's like a trifold. Three, and then you see the mommy there really nice now here's one with it looks like an anniversary golden anniversary we have a ribbon 
message inside. Here's the wedding anniversary. Looks like a lot of wedding anniversary cards. It might have been from one family. Look how pretty the images are though. That's really pretty. This one's a birthday. It has a cute little tassel here and I like the gold foil there. Super cute. And here's one with fabric underneath there for the pillow. This is for an anniversary, 50th anniversary. And you'll see the fabric in there. Really cute. Now here's a belated birthday card. Again, you can fuzzy cut that and make it an ephemera. Even this flower. And the nice thing is you can split it and cut those images out. So I think that's awesome. This looks like a holiday card, small Christmas card, pretty. I like this one, they're all pooped. We have the reindeer and Santa. Another floral Valentine's card here that you can definitely use for ephemera. I can use that or use the inside. We have our Mother's Day here and a holiday card. This is really small and really thin, yeah. Another one with that keyhole little window here. It says, here's the key to the situation. And then a little message about Christmas. Here we have like a little mesh fabric over the 50th uh, number there. There's two similar um, design. Another 50th here, love the gold foil. Again, these can definitely be used as ephemera or cut them out. Here's another one. And if you have your little crafty scissors, I see that they've done that little edgy and even here in the middle, it looks good. Another golden anniversary. More anniversaries. <laughs> it looks like this was from one couple that must have been celebrating their 50th anniversary. So we have more of those. Looks like the same here. We have a duplicate. Let's see if it's the same. Okay. Then we have Mother's Day. That's cute. Here's a small card, it's the cover of a card. And again, you can use this as ephemera. That's pretty cool. Anniversary again, I like the embossing on this end. You can see the wear and also how paper's faded on this paper. We have a Christmas one over here. And then another 50th anniversary, nice. I feel like we've seen a similar card. So we have a few doubles, which is cool because we can use them twice. We have another anniversary card in the window. I love this image of the cottage in the background. A lot of anniversary cards here. Here's another one. This one's a get well card. Two of them and we have Nice little uh, layering here too with the paper. Here we have a birthday card. Here's one that's actually larger than the ones we've seen previously, pretty big. And it's on glossy paper. The other ones have been pretty matte, so that's what it looks like. Here's one to a mother. One for grandma. I like this. It has that little window. Definitely can use it for a shaker window for a little cover with the flowers in there. Here's an Easter card. We have a little ribbon there attached to the basket and it is textured or embossed. So that's another one here again with the ribbon and it looks like a beautiful uh, with a handkerchief with a little fold here. And when you open it, we have our greeting. More gold here with the flowers, an Easter card here. So the ribbon's pretty popular in this set. I love the cherry blossoms here. We have another one. 
birthday joy, some flowers. Again, I can see some fuzzy cutting with some of these floral images. Look at this pretty one with the bird there, a birthday note. Here's a little, really nice one, looks like a napkin. It's very pretty, some layering with the paper here. Then we have the golden anniversary card here. Another birthday card, a little cutout here for a window. More ribbons here, and little basket anniversary card. I like that one. More florals, again, this one's embossed. It's very nice. I like the scallop edges here, or the trim, very nice. So this is what I got in that little, that Ziploc bag, so many cards, I mean, so many uh, that I can use for ephemera and fuzzy cutting to cut out, and some that I'll be using as covers for my card junk journals. Now the next item I got from that antique shop, and you really have to look hard, you know, it's kind of like a mix of different items, kitchen items, dolls, and things. This was one that I randomly found on one of the tables, and I thought it was super cute. I've been looking for a really old uh, cookbook, and here's one that I can definitely use for junk journaling, for like a recipe junk journal book. This is a book of ice creams and cold drinks, and this was in the 1958 publication here. It was $2, but it was 50% off. I love the images here, the pages. Look how cute. So here's some scribble, but not bad. I love the illustrations. Look at this cake, wow. I still see these roll, cake rolls around. Look how pretty that image is. So we have some pictures here as well. I like the beach illustration there. And I love this one. And look at this giant little, I mean little, giant watermelon holding some punch in it. I love this one, it's so pretty. So let's see what else is in the back. Really nice, oh I love that. Island punch with some coconut. And look at that. A little punch bowl look for serving. I love this illustration as well. Really pretty. So for a dollar, not bad. And this should be easy to take apart and use as pockets or as uh, transitional pages in my junk journal for like a recipe book or somewhat. It's only held by staples, so that's pretty cool. Another cute item I have, I still have, um, I have my vinyl player, and here's one, it's actually a sh strawberry shortcake book. It's a see, hear, and read book. This was $10, originally it was uh, $5, 50% off. I just love it, I love strawberry shortcake. Uh, both my kids love watching it when they were much smaller. I like that it's uh, not in color, it's black and white. And it comes with this cute little vinyl that you can listen to. I've tried it out, it works pretty fine. I thought it was just super adorable, super cute to have this. So that was uh, what I found in terms of paper from that antique shop. Another item I did find that I like and collect are these precious moments. I don't have a lot, I think this is my third one. And this one was so pretty, I love her purse, her cute little cat, and the hat just got me really pretty. It's a bisque, uh, precious moment, little figurine here. And at the bottom, it says to a very special mom. And I didn't even see that when I initially picked it up, but I thought it was so pretty. And it was $10, and it was 50% off, so I got it for $5, so super. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you some items I did find at half price books that will be great to add to my book collection and for junk journaling. The first item I got from half price books, I was surprised to see it is a gift grade of papers. 
it's five dollars and 99 cents and retails for 15 dollars and 99 cents regularly i like that i had this vintage look the theme is hearts so let me just open this up so now let's have a look i love the fact that it's in book form so pretty let's have a look so the theme is hearts gift wrapping paper book love it this is so pretty look at these images and they are back to back so over here it looks like it's tucked in wow and it's a tear away sheet so you tear it here <laughs> almost broke that but anyway it's a tear away sheet and it's an actual it's pretty long it's pretty thick so it's it's like the size of wrapping paper basically so you can definitely use it for gift wrapping creating a cover for your gift boxes and for scrapbooking even i mean they're so adorable i love the look of these pages and there is a lot to play with look at this beautiful air balloon i love that with the morning doves all these angels oh they're so pretty love it oh how adorable this is so cute reminds me of shirley temple but anyway here more angels i love the variety of the designs as well now this one's more glossy the other pages were a little more matte so many this is so much fun and i love that it's in the book so it's so neat you have your wrapping paper and you can just tuck it in your shelf that's really nice i love that one so the next item i got was at their clearance aisle and this caught me this got me it's a tony scrapbook so i was curious to see what's the book about and then i saw the year so it's two dollars for each of these so this gentleman here was uh, i think a radio announcer back in the 30s and he did a lot of collecting of poems and compiled it in these books and he would feature them on his radio show so look how pretty and how nice i i, I read a few of them and it's definitely a, a good read to see also what they were writing at that time it was also really nice and good condition so here it is and we have the dust cover here that comes off it's a hard cover so you can see that it's really worn so we have that and he has a total of three so i have two of them here is one and it looks like no this is the fourth one because this is in the 40s three editions are from the 1927 to 1933 here's another one of his books same format again a collection of poems from this era so super cool i can't wait to read them possibly i'm still thinking if i should use it um, for my uh, junk journals not quite sure yet but definitely pull this in because my dad used to be a radio announcer when he was uh, back in the day and I, I thought it just reminded me so much of him so i had to get it so that's that and then i got this one it's a novel based on the boating party here by Renoir so I, I think it's beautiful I love the pages I love this painting and I'm gonna read this yeah so I'm excited to read this book also found this adorable cute little greeting card again had this vintage look on it with some books book covers and spines and I thought this would be a great cover for a journal yeah like a little cute journal cover this was like two dollars now here's one it's an a to z style and it was three dollars it's a hard cover basically just takes a look at a little bit of snippets of fashion and then you have just some fun quotes and you'll see some iconic images here that i thought again really cool to look like i love audrey hepburn and we have all these other um, celebrities back then. They were so full of elegance and sophistication and all that. We have Elizabeth Taylor there and so on. There's Marilyn. Yeah, so this is another fun thing to add 
to my book collection. Now here's one that I thought would be also fun to use for junk journaling. This was $2 and it's a collection of uh, different classic girls toys. So it takes a look at that and I believe, I don't know what year it starts, but it comes, it shows you different images. We'll take a quick look through at some of the toys here. Have a little bassinet. Look at these dolls. If you're a doll collector, I think this would be fun. Or toy collector, just to look back. This is the author's picture with her doll back in the day. Strawberry shortcake. I used to have a Raggedy Ann, and uh, I didn't really have a lot of dolls, but that was this was something I had as well. Uh, Knickerbocker Holly, Holly Hobby dolls. So here you go. Just a quick flip through of this. A lot of pages that are very nostalgic of some of the toys the kids used to have back in the day. So I think it's a cute little book to read and look through with the kids as well. And use it for junk journaling. Now the next book I got, I found it at not their sale, it was a regularly priced one, was Curious George Takes a Job. And there's a special reason why I got this book. It's for my sister. She recently shared an article on The New Yorker. And I'll put the link below. It tells you the backstory of when this first book was written by the author. It was really special. And I love Curious George. My kids grew up reading the books and watching now the new version of it on, on the video. But this one, super special. So I got it, it was $3.49, and then I went in the clearance aisle and got myself, look at this. This was the first publication. This was only a dollar, and it was published 1947. So this one was a reprint. I think this is the 1975 version of that book. So I love it. I'm just so happy to add this to my children's book collection. If you'd like to see that, comment below and let me know and I'll I'll do a video showing you some of my favorites. So here's another one, Curious George. Again, I couldn't believe this was just a dollar and it's so clean, perfectly taken care of. And again, the publication on this book was 1941. How cool is that? And here's another one that again was a dollar. You had some writing, but not bad. 1944 was when it was published. Look how pretty the images are. And again here, just to look at George's images as well. Really nice. I love that. Now another fun book that I did find is this big golden book and it's Mr. Porcupine's Marvelous Flying Machine. It was three dollars. I just love the illustrations. There's my receipt. <laughs> this was published in 1972. Look at the illustrations. Really pretty. I love this. I'm adding this definitely to my children's book collection. I love children's books. Look how cute that guy is. The raccoon. And again, really good shape and really cute story. So that's that. And then the next one, I have um, this stamp set. I thought it was really cute. Wooden stamp sets with two ink pads. It's $5.99, regularly $19.95. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. Look at this fashionista type uh, vibe here in this set. And I'll try it on some paper and tags and show you how that comes out. You already have some inspiration right here on the cover. So I thought this would be fun to play with and use for the girls to make some nice bookmarks, some card making, or even some covers for some of the notebooks or flip books that I'm making as well. So I like that one. And now I'm going to show you the last book that I found at their clearance aisle. And I thought this was so cool. I love looking at fashion books, especially when they're illustrated. So here's one, two dollars, and some of the images you can definitely use and put on your wall. 
They're really cool illustrations here. I love it. it just really fun. Oh, I love it. There's one here that was in yellow. Hopefully I can find it. Look at this. This is so cool. That's not the one, but um, but you get the idea of how nice. And this is super fun. My daughter Lil loves to illustrate, and I thought this was also a good reference for just some uh, figure drawing, different, you know, like how to do, you know, draw a dress just for fun. And then um, we have this, uh, and the names of the artists, like super fun to add to your book collection. Definitely a great kind of coffee table book. Love this one. Just so pretty. I love the images. It's so fun. Here it is. So this is the yellow one I thought would look great on a wall with a white frame. Love the yellow and how it stands out and pops out in the black. And here's more. Oh, I love this one. So cool. This is so cool. So not bad. For $2, I, I really thought it was a great find. Really fun. Yeah, so these kind of remind me of the Jane Davenport book. She used to be a uh, fashion designer illustrator, I think, back in the day. So some of these images remind me of some of her drawings or illustrations. So happy to find this for $2. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And um, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, make sure to like and comment below. And before we forget, I did find this one. It was $1.49 half price books. And it is a cute little hand notebook handbag. How cute is this? It has little gems, a little heart charm, and then you have some blank pages inside. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time.